How's it guys? Good morning. Welcome to... Where are we? Cape Town, obviously. I am, along with Sav, doing a bit of spring cleaning today, um, which is why I've got this mask on. Although someone said to properly, actively block out um, any uh, dust particles and stuff, you need to have one of those proper masky things. But I find that this is helping me because whenever I spring clean, I get like a runny nose and sniffly and whatever because obviously you're kicking up all the dust and this and that. So I just finished cleaning the vacuum cleaner. Um, too much avail. Is that even the right? I don't know. Washing carpets, tidying things, getting rid of nonsense. It is Sav's second last day of leave. Tomorrow's her last day of leave um, for the new year in terms of like, her, like festive leave that she's been made to take. So we are going to Bo Constantia today to go get some... What are we doing? I think what the aim was to get some like flamkuchen or something um because they make a really nice flatbread flamkuchen vibe there so that's that's the plan um i'll check in with you guys in a little bit when we are slightly less this and more sort of this um but otherwise welcome to the vlog And we are off on our way to Birkenstancher. I've got um no, we are not. Hey? Where are we going? Oh, no, no, no. Right. And we are off. We are on our way to Birkenstancher. Birkenstancher. Where are we going? Constantia Glen. We're going to Constantia Glen. I'm vlogging tomorrow. And we're off for the third time now. We are on our way to Constantia Glen, not Bo Constantia, as many people confuse it. We've got a cooler box full of drinks because we're gonna get lit. No, we're not gonna, we're, um, we're not getting lit. Also, they have really good wine there, but that's not why we're going. We're going for flamkuchen and a salad. Isn't that right? You can have wine. All right, we're getting lit. I'm dropping this cooler box off at my parents. Um, we'll do that on the way and then in the boot we've got recycling so that's the agenda for the day otherwise it's just a little bit of J&J &J. Um, this is Jack Johnson for those of you who don't know him as on a personal basis like I do um, and uh, yeah you're gonna see some beautiful views from uh, Boat Constantia Glen have to go Western Province it's a great excuse for if you're driving erratically here are all the buses that I showed you yesterday check there tons Tons and tons. In fact, it actually probably equals tons, which is so that's an accurate statement. Tons of buses. Cześć, Papa. Cześć, Mateusz. Still got your Christmas tree up, I see. No, Mom started dismantling this. Ah. Why aren't you watching the cricket? It's lunch break. Yeah. For you and the players, eh? <laughs> but I'll see you sometime this week for lunch. Okay, kotlets go Okay. We can film even, maybe. Yeah, you can film it. Okay, love you lots. What about the pinky story? It, we'll put the pinky story in there. Check how beautiful this tree is. So colorful. Stuff of fairy tales. <laughs> We've got a fairy tale princess right here. We should come to a summer sunset concert while we're still this side. Mm. Makes things much easier. Sure. Um, so those concerts are at this place. Koistenbosch. Did we, did we film when we went to Koistenbosch? I don't think we did, we just went and took a nice day to ourselves, eh? Yeah. Constantia Glen, as I'm sure you guys can guess, is housed in Constantia. We've done that as well. The uh, wine tasting thing I'm about. This is one of the farms that's on the route with the um, with that wine tasting bus that I would highly recommend. Okay, we've just been shown to our seats, but before we sit down, I'm gonna give you guys a 360. This is one of the dining areas you can taste out here. You've got this inside area, which is really nice. And then we'll give you a tour outside in a bit. How nice is the spot there? It's no wonder that it takes, when did we have to book to come? We booked on like the 26th of Jan, 27th of Jan. Not the 26th of Jan, because we, last year, whoa. It's on the 27th of December, the 16th Yeah, but it is also peak season. You got tons of um, touristas here as well. So this is what we came for, the flamkuchen, but someone... Sorry, the, the cheese platters just look nice, what was it like? Someone now be eyeing up the platters. They do look and sound good, and they are good. We've had them before as well, when we came. I haven't been here with you. 
We sat at that table right over there. My dad. Yeah. If you don't know what Flamkuchen is, it's a thinly rolled flatbread baked in a wood fired oven. Is it Dutch? It's like Belgian? Flemish, Belgian? Flemish? Yeah. Not quite phlegm, but Flemish. <laughs> Check out this mayfly that just landed on our water. I think it's a mayfly. He's, he looks nasty though. <laughs> Sav actually is an insect fanatic. She's a what are the what are they called? Hornithologist. What's the insect one? Insectologist. It's it's <laughs> eyeballing you with all four hundred of his eyeballs. I don't know how to get rid of him. Operation get rid of the mayfly. That's it. Uh, he's a goner. <laughs> Sam now feels bad for the mayfly, so I have to try to rescue it. So we'll give some water to these things here. See if this guy just comes right out. There you go, good luck. I'm gonna ask for fresh water though. While I'm outside, I'll give you the view. You can come sit on some Lazy Boys bean bags, take in the view. It's beautiful out here. And then there's another restaurant up there. Some, one of those is a restaurant as well. Can't even remember which one's which. Some kuchen, which yes, does look like a pizza, arrived at exactly the same time as our salad. We went for the meat one. This salad is, I can't remember what it was called, but it's got Mediterranean. It's got grilled artichoke, roasted red peppers, olives, feta, and greens and red onions. And my wine tasting has arrived. Constantia Glen Sauvignon Blanc and the Constantia Glen 2. Oh yes, that's very good on the nose. Very good. Fruity bouquet. It's the easiest thing to get away with saying. Mm. Oh yes, a fruity bouquet. That is white wine. I want you guys to understand that this film Kuchen, while they call it a rolled flatbread, I think it is still better than a lot of pizzas yep. in Cape Town. Like better than the pizza from I Love the Dough, where we went the other night. Unbelievable. The toppings are really good as well. Delicious, great combination. Salad I haven't tried yet. Need to get some of that. While we're wrapping things up here, I just want to say how good value for money this salad actually was. It were 14 olives. They just cleared away the board with all the pips that we left on them. 14 olives. That's how you measure the value of a salad is by the amount of olives they put in there because each olive has a significant value, you know? It's like a currency in Greece. Okay, because we've got two olives left, I don't want them to go to waste. I'm going to show you guys a pro tip. If you don't feel like just salty olives, are you ready? Can you already tell what's about to happen? Probably not. Maybe you can. Zoop, doink. Dip it in the dressing. Mm. So I'm just going to show you guys here the cost because for the quality, reasonable, hey? Yeah. So reasonable. That's why this place is so popular and why it takes seven days to get a booking um but yeah so check it out our waiter was lamise who actually uh was uh, someone that i worked with when i used to work at baden for uh, as a waiter there so that was a crazy coincidence we chatted a whole bunch caught up so she's lovely if you can get her when you come here get her uh from kuchen 180 i mean it's like steep but it's really good in terms of like for a pizza it is big yeah it's shareable it's bigger than a pizza I could do it. I'm a big man. <laughs> say it. Say it, I'm a big man. We're in the Mediterranean salad, 95 bucks for 14 for a 14 olive salad. That's actually how they should just. Oh yeah, and they have decent amount of artichokes. That's how they should actually list salads these days. It's like, would you like a 14 olive salad, or would you like a nine olive salad, or a three olive salad? Uh, so I've got a lemonade, homemade lemonade. Nice, you said it was quite sweet. Yeah, I just topped up the water. It's topped up the water, so yeah. And then the flagship tasting that I had, four wines, 90 bucks. Yeah, and the last one was the, oh, so this is the flagship tasting, which means it's all the Constantia Glen wines, their flagships. This one was the Constantia Glen 5, 2016 bottle. The 2015 uh, one, like, what did she say? Like best red in the world or something, pretty much. And Sav is still eyeing out the cheese and charcuterie boards. They do look amazing because they are amazing that's why if it looks amazing it tastes amazing that's what they say in italy it's an italian saying 
Yeah. Hey, regardi, regardi bueno, e mangi bueno, is what they say in Italy. But yeah, so total 389 for a lovely lunch date with a lovely view with a lovely savanna. <laughs> it was a lovely lunch, wasn't it? Hey, what's wrong with you? Do you eat something? Are you allergic to something you ate? So. <laughs> We've come outside onto the lawns, sitting on one of these fat sacks, uh, beanbag type thing, finishing the last wine that I had in my tasting. What do you think of the view out here? <laughs> All right, Sam's gonna take a nap. Got the, the old Afrikaans saying. It's the one. But have a look at the view. Not too bad, hey Marlon. Not too bad. I don't know, it felt like a movie reference as I was saying it. If it isn't, it will be soon. These wines are so good. Look at these flowers, guys. Sav can't remember the name, but she knows she knows them. And I know she knows them, but she can't remember the name. What are they called, Sav? Probably I know these ones, but I've all of a sudden forgotten them. Oh, sheep! Then you got some hardy dars, which is the one over there, but I saw some. Oh no, there's two. Always two. So you need to chat to each other. <coughs> Bastards. We're taking the scenic route home, going through Constantia, and it's an old neighborhood. That's why there's all the wine farms here, because they planted those. Uh, wine trees ages ago <laughs> and then here as we're going past is Krut Constantia goes that way that's where Fox Simons Craft. is Foxcroft Foxcroft is like right here yeah. another really nice restaurant you've got the Chardonnay Deli over here you've got guys selling little wicker chairs baskets oh those are nice eh? Sam oh. trying to enter a circle, <laughs> basically a meme. Uh, we are coming to this Checkers, it's a brand new Checkers. This is, what's this one called? Constantia Emporium. Uh, you guys won't know this, but Sav and I, and my sister at one stage, uh, were house sitting a house back that way. Uh, so we came here a few times. That was over Christmas and just before New Year's. I didn't film any vlogs then. Uh, but this Checkers, brand new, and they are targeting the upper luxury food market which has been sort of Woolworth's what corner I don't know I think maybe we should park in the downstairs parking it's free undercover parking which means you're in the shade and you don't have to do this bun fight so let's go down here you can get what can you get Kobe not Kobe beef Kobe uh, beef Wagyu what? beef Wagyu beef a5 probably Perlamun or abalone which is actually illegal to fish in South Africa but it's probably been poached from South Africa, shipped to China, and then shipped back in a convenient <laughs> container. But yeah, we're gonna go in because I wanna get some, they've got really nice vegetarian sausages. Linda McCartney, she knows what she's doing. And I had a friend tell me, Linda McCartney changed my life. They said that. Who said that? Francis. Huh. I think. She might, have, she might not have been in those exact words. They've got this whole thing here, which is really cool. It's like uh, explanation of the land and the, the family timelines. Basically, Solomon family owned this land. They were forcibly removed uh, here, forced removals in the 1960s, 1994, new constitution. Land claims, they got the, well, they got the title deeds for the land back here in 2012. And then the, um, they worked, where was it? It was on this one. They worked with ShopRite Checkers, so Checkers which is where we're coming as part of the ShopRite Checkers group. Yeah, that's it's just really cool that they have the history of the area because unfortunately, uh, during apartheid and during a lot of the forced removals, a lot of the sort of history or um, traced history uh, was lost or muddled in with different things. So it's really nice that they've got a record and that they show it here. Um, and while we were, as we were coming up from the parking, there were like three or four people also reading it. So it's like, it just it's good to see you know because this is a so the other thing is Constantia is a really affluent area so it's like a lot of wealthy people stay in this area um so nice to see that sort of thing Sav is currently in nap trying to not buy too many candles i'm telling you in the current state of south africa with escom giving us power cuts when and whenever they feel like it candles great business opportunity also Especially if your shop is near where Sav oh. travels, <laughs> you'll get all of her business. 
but like just making bespoke candles like this this is 85 bucks 85 bucks for a little candle like this no i know but i mean this is like this you know you know what it takes to make this probably pouring candle wax into a mold with a wick boom 85 bucks easy that's what i'm gonna do guys slice of candles coming soon <laughs> this is what we have come for linda mccartney's each vegetarian sausages or burgers no those are the boring ones we want these ones those ones are like very average actually chorizo and red pepper sausages where are these from six vegetarian chorizo and red pepper sausages doesn't matter where they're from they're delicious 24.99 for six and they are amazing or you could come get one of these like what is this fries 44.99 hot dog eight sausages for i don't know anyway trust me on this linda knows what she's doing both our moms are named linda as well so it's a name you can trust oasis coming to drop off our recycling as one should this is one of the few days that they're open in the festive season even though it is the 6th of jan it is still festive season the bookshop is closed unfortunately so we won't be perusing and we've also got some apartments to go view now hey? we're gonna go look we're gonna go have a peek Sav's old stomping ground. This is the neighborhood. Well, this is one of the neighborhoods that we're looking at for 2020. But this road is the one that makes me realize whenever I was coming to visit Sav, I would be driving along this road and I'd be like, what the hell is the city doing so close to a mountain like that? It like makes it's the perspective even on camera is not quite, yeah. but it's just an insane, like just, it's so big. I mean, that's huge. Look at that. <laughs> this new one, yeah. They were struggling to let these though. Yeah, they were letting for like 22 for just... Yeah, they wanted a lot of money. Okay, I'm gonna stop filming because our, our future apartment could be somewhere around here. It's not that one. It's definitely not that one. So we are just leaving the viewing now. Uh, the block was like nice. The flats were nice. But, and like for the price, they were quite, I thought they were quite good. Only issue was the kitchen, no space. Once you put a stove, washing machine, because the washing machine couldn't go anywhere else, and your fridge in there, you've got absolutely no space just to stand. Like you have like a tile space to stand. You clowns, can someone drive maybe? Yeah, that's a CL driver, no wonder. Yeah, on your bike. I'm just upset because I just wanted it to kind of work. But yeah, one of the things that we realized living in Sonia's place is that there's not a lot of kitchen space. And in terms of priorities for us, I think, it, for me, it used to be balcony, but now it's like... Nice kitchen space. Nice kitchen space. It doesn't even need to be nice kitchen space, just big kitchen space. Mm. And then after that, then it's like, okay, nice working space and whatever, because not having a nice kitchen space, it makes just the willingness to get Uber Eats and takeaways and stuff is too high. I think that's the truth. And so that we've made put on the vlog, guys, Matt and I can both cook and cook really well. And both of us actually really like cooking yeah. and enjoy cooking. But we really struggled this year, A, because I was driving home from town. It was take me about an hour. So I'd get home at like half a six, seven. You know, I think it's quite common, like, if you live in like London or Paris or something, like your commute is maybe a bit longer and you, you know. But we also, A, didn't have a large fridge, so we couldn't store food. Yeah, we're using a bar fridge. We're using a bar fridge, like a mini fridge. And so we can't buy food for the week because we can't fit it in at all. You can't do bulk meals. We can't, can't do freeze bulk meals leftovers. We don't have a freezer. No freezer. And then um, on top of that, our working space is the size of the dashboard in the Fiat 500, if not slightly less. So, so I so, think like for us it was it's like so difficult. So now we just like we're you know always getting like takeout or whatever. And I think yeah, it's a, like a big New Year's resolution for us. Yeah, eat out less. Well, not eat out less. If you're gonna eat takeaways, go out for a meal. Yeah, and but enjoy your get meal. Get less Uber Eatses and takeaways and 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 stuff like that. We are going now away to the waterfront. We have to return. We've got to go return to something. Pets. And then we've got another viewing at a different place with a different agent. Check these clouds, guys. Might get a bit of a sunset. I mean, if the sun hits just right, then it might just hit just right. I've been wanting something like this for a while. And I want to know if you think I can pull it off. Let's see what Sarah thinks. Yeah, it looks like 
Really good on there. It's a nice one, hey? Mm -hmm. And there's check, and there's two others there as well. Oh, cool. So I can get my family crest emblazoned onto that one. What's your family crest? It's a flamingo emoji. Should I pretend at the cashier? I'd be like, hi, I'd like to buy these because I, I can't take it off. <laughs> um, I can't take this off, so I'm just going to buy it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Where do we find Sav? Back at the candles. Can't stay away, hey? Can't stay away. Nice. Also, I'm a ring guy now. Are you not? Yep, I'm a, I'm a ring guy. This one is great. I'm surrounded by idiots. Let's see, how much did you put in today? 10 bucks. What are your winnings? Oh, no trend. You win some, you lose some, hey? Don't use machine number eight. Back at the flat. First things first. PC on. Dum, 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 dum. Anyone else watch 8 out of 10 cats does countdown? Or 8 out of 10 cats in general? I should take that off because I'm probably shouting. Make myself a cup of tea. I'm going to play some James with games. And um, on the side, I'm going to make some mashed potatoes. And then we're going to have it with uh, those sausages that we got. Linda's McCartney. Simple dinner after a nice fancy lunch. What do you think of the sausages? You're not sold on them. Are they a bit dry? I still like the flavor. Oh. Well, let me try them again. I mean, to be fair, I did have them the first time. A little bit tipsy. <laughs> on a roll with some Nando's piri piri. My current source of choice is... <laughs> did you like that? <laughs> so they do all sorts of different types. But I saw this one, Bushveld Bry. Medium is as much, as, I, as much heat as I need. But if you get a chance to try... Oh wait, Nando's exists in the UK. Hey, I forgot that. Well, if it doesn't exist in your country, I'm sorry, but Nando's South African company, tell them Sav. Thank you. Back to you in the studio. <laughs> there is a beautiful sunset happening. We did kind of call it, didn't we? We called it, eh? Let's see, it's probably even better. Nobody wants to hear you chewing in the phone. No one wants to hear you chewing in the phone, Savannah. It wasn't popping off on that side. What's wrong? I didn't like the sausages. To be fair, they were much better with a nice Woolies roll with a little bit of butter. <laughs> Sav's face. Sav's absolute favorite thing is white bread and butter and then <laughs> anything in between. Yeah, with a little bit of tomato sauce and the Nando's because the tomato sauce gets a little bit of sweetness. So I'm not, and this is my third one because I've had Sav's abandoned second one. <laughs> so this is not the right way to eat them. Maybe with like a coleslaw or something on the side or underneath could be good as well. So I'm still turning her. Never. <laughs> but yeah, so just on its own, it needs to be in a roll for it to be a proper, it's not like a pork sausage that you can have, you know, with mash, which is what I was hoping it would replace. But. <laughs>